Hello, my little scientists. How are you today? Thank you for joining me. Today, we'll be learning about the life cycle of an octopus. Remember to stay for the whole read aloud because at the end, we'll do a little life cycle activity. The story I'm gonna read to you today is called The Bizarre Life Cycle of an Octopus. It's written by Therese Shea. An octopus looks creepy. Its soft body or mantle and eight long arms can squeeze into tight places. The octopus can do this because it's an invertebrate, which means it doesn't have a backbone. In fact, it doesn't have any bones at all. Octopuses breathe with gills, just like fish. Water flows into the mantle through the gills and out through a tube called a siphon. But it's not just an octopus's body that's weird. The octopus has a pretty bizarre life cycle too. Octopuses are part of an animal group called mollusks. A feature of most mollusks is their shell, but octopuses don't have one. Octopuses belong to a group of mollusks called cephalopods. Cephalopod means head, foot, and octopus's feet, or arms, are attached to the head, the mantle. An octopus's life begins in an egg after a male and female octopus mate. The male octopus has one arm that looks a bit different from the other seven. He uses this arm to give the female special cells to fertilize her eggs. She stores these cells in her body until she lays eggs. At least one kind of octopus, the blanket octopus, has a bizarre mating habit. The male actually takes off his arm and gives it to the female. Male octopuses die soon after mating. Scientists think that the female octopus makes a special chemical in her body that draws a mate and keeps him from eating her. Some mother octopuses, such as this blue ringed octopus, carry their eggs with them. Mother octopuses may lay thousands of eggs. Each egg has a string attached that the mother ties to many other eggs. She hangs these strings of eggs from the roof of her den. The mother octopus guards her eggs and blows water at them so they get oxygen. She keeps them clean using the suckers on her arms. She spends all her time with the eggs and doesn't eat. This causes the mother octopus to slowly weaken. When her eggs finally hatch, she dies. Giant octopuses can lay as many as 100,000 eggs. This tiny octopus, about the size of a grain of rice, has just burst from its egg. Baby octopuses that haven't hatched yet can be seen inside two other eggs. Newborn octopuses called paralarvae swim up and join the plankton drifting on the ocean surface. They eat anything they can catch. After a few weeks, most baby octopuses swim down to the ocean floor. Scientists don't know much about the lives of young octopuses. They do know that very few live to become adults. While baby octopuses float, they're in danger of being eaten by whales and many other kinds of fish. When they've grown larger, predators include seals, sharks, eels, dolphins, and even other octopuses. Octopuses often make a den out of rocks on the ocean floor. An octopus's den is also called a garden. This young octopus has made its home in a bottle. Did you know that some kinds of octopuses change color and shape to match their surroundings. They have special skin cells and muscles that work quickly to blend in with rocks and other things in the ocean. When an octopus fears a predator's attack, it may release a dark, inky liquid from its body. An ink cloud can hide the octopus and help it escape. Sometimes the ink looks like an octopus, drawing the predator away from the real octopus. There are more than 250 species or kinds of octopuses. However, scientists only know about a few of them. 
the mimic octopus can make itself look like a giant crab. Octopuses don't just run and hide from predators. They're predators too. Octopuses have excellent eyesight and mostly hunt at night. They use their long arms to reach creatures in tight spaces. The suckers on an octopus can taste whatever they touch so the octopus knows if it has found food. It may use its ink cloud to hide before attacking an animal. Octopuses have a sharp beak to bite their victims and break through shells. Venom in their spit breaks down the inside of an animal so it's easier to eat. The blue ringed octopus has venom so deadly that it can kill people. Octopuses like to eat crabs, lobsters, clams, and shrimp. A giant Pacific octopus may eat birds and sharks too. Most octopuses grow to be about 1.6 feet long. They usually weigh less than 22 pounds. However, there are octopuses much smaller and much bigger. The smallest octopus is the California octopus which is only about one inch long. The giant Pacific octopus can grow to be over 30 feet long and weigh 100 pounds. All octopuses have long arms lined with suckers. Female giant octopuses have 280 suckers on each arm. Giant Pacific octopuses are commonly reddish brown or pink. Some octopuses are fully grown when they look for a mate. That means the beginning of the end of the life cycle of the octopus. The last stage of the cycle is called senescence. It happens to males after mating and to females after laying their eggs. They stop eating, are unaware of predators, and don't care for themselves in other ways too. Death soon follows. Many octopuses only live about a year, while the largest live for about four years. If a predator catches an octopus's arm, the octopus can leave its arm behind. The octopus can then grow another arm. All the many kinds of octopuses go through senescence. Scientists have learned that octopuses are the smartest invertebrate animals. They have large brains for invertebrates and their brains have areas for memory and learning. They like to play and take things apart. Giant Pacific octopuses have learned to open jars and even solve mazes. In fact, it's hard to keep an octopus in a tank because it'll figure out how to get out. Scientists hope to keep learning more about these octopuses in the future. You can learn more about them and their bizarre lives at your local aquarium. This picture is of an octopus at Denmark's aquarium. It's trying to open a jar to get a crab inside. Let's review the life cycle of an octopus. The male and female octopus mate. The male octopus dies while the female octopus lays her eggs. The eggs hatch and then the mother octopus dies. Para larvae swim to the ocean surface. Most young octopuses return to the deep ocean and grow into adults. Now, let's make a life cycle of an octopus. All right, little scientists, let's go over a life cycle of an octopus. Like all the other life cycles we've learned about this year, the life cycle of an octopus starts with you got it. Always starts with the eggs. The eggs of an octopus look really interesting, don't they? A little different than some of the other life cycles. All right, the next thing is those eggs hatch and it's called hatchlings. And then what do you think comes next? Yeah, the smaller octopus, the juvenile. And then finally, the adult octopus. Now, 
you have cards that you can use in your packet from this activity that look exactly like these figures. So you don't need the figures, but if you'd like to purchase the figures, I will put the link below. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.